Hi everyone, this is Ramalinga Prasad Kuppa. Welcome to my channel, Pharma World. Today's topic is basic raw data calculations in QC laboratories. In today's video, let us learn in a simple way on how PPM calculations are made, converting percentage calculations to PPM. Also, let us learn some basic information on molarity, normality, and molality. A brief tips on HPLC calculations are also given in the last slide. Let us understand parts per million, that is PPM. Million by definition is thousand thousand units, which can be expressed as 10 lakhs. You must remember that our type of calculation of 1 lakh is referred as 100,000. Since the word milli refers to a figure of 1,000, 1,000 thousands are, is referred as 1 million. This is equivalent to 10 lakhs in our calculations. PPM is one part per million, that is one part in 10 lakhs. So PPM, that is one PPM means one part in 10 lakh parts, that is one million. This is the basic understanding of PPM. Scientifically, it is termed as milligram per liter for aqua solutions. Here you must understand that one liter of water is equivalent to one kilogram. One kilogram has 1000 grams and one gram has 1000 milligrams. So it accounts to 1000 multiplied by another 1000 which makes it 1 million milligrams in a kilogram. It is simple calculation. So 1 milligram in 1 million milligrams is 1 ppm. The example could be as follows. Weight is equal to 2.5 grams. That means 2.5 into 1000 milligrams. That is 2500 milligrams. Volume of water is 1250 ml. That means 1250 milliliters divided by 1000 that is 1.5 liters. Since the solute is required to be in milligrams, you must convert grams into milligrams. So in this example, 2.5 grams is converted into 2500 milligrams and milliliters to liters. Hence the concentration in PPM is 2000 milligrams divided by 1.25 liters that is equal to 2000 milligrams per liter. So it is termed as 2000 ppm. So finally 2500 milligrams divided by 1.25 liters would give you a result of 2000 ppm. The equation to remember is as follows. ppm is equal to grams of solute divided by grams of solution and this fraction is multiplied by 10 to the power of 6. This is another way of calculation. Here it is considered for grams and not liters. Another example, 50 milligrams of solute in 250 grams of solution. Let us see how much ppm it is. 50 milligrams divided by 250 grams into 10 to the power of 6. That is equal to 0 0.05 grams divided by 250 grams multiplied by 10 to the power of 6. That will be 200 ppm. In this example, 50 milligrams is equal to 0 0.05 grams. So the calculation would be 0 0.05 divided by 250. This fraction is multiplied by 10 to the power of 6. This refers to 1 million. One more example is 0 0.05 grams of sodium chloride in 1 kilogram of solution. The PPM calculation is as follows 0 0.005 grams 
divided by 1000 grams multiplied by 10 to the power of 6 will be 5 ppm. Let us understand percentage versus ppm. Percentage is quantity per 100 units. 1% 1 weight by weight means 1 gram of solute in 100 grams of aqueous solution. We already know the formula in the previous slide on the PPM calculations. So, as per the formula, 1 gram divided by 100 grams multiplied by 10 to the power of 6 will be equal to 10,000 PPM. Easy way to remember is 1% is 10,000 ppm, 0.1% is 1000 ppm, 0.01% is 100 ppm, 0.001% is 10 ppm, and 0.0001% is 1 ppm. Let us see how percentage solutions are given. This terminology should be remembered always. Percent weight by weight means required weight of sample in required weight of solvent. Percent weight by volume means required weight of sample in required volume of solvent. Percent volume by volume means required volume of sample in required volume of solvent. If the solution is made as percent weight by volume, it should be prefixed with percent W by V. If the solution is made as percent volume by volume, it should be prefixed with percent V by V. If there is no prefix, it is assumed that it is percent weight by weight. These points are very important to remember. Let us understand what is molarity. Molecular weight is the weight of one mole of a chemical. The molecular weight is determined by using a periodic table by adding the atomic mass of each atom in the chemical formula. It is a good practice to have the atomic mass of common elements by heart so that the calculations can be done faster. For example, molecular weight of HCl is H is 1 plus Cl is 35.5. The total will be 36.5 grams per mole. Molecular weight of H2SO4 is H, 2 times 1, S yes, is 32, and O, 4 times 16, this amounts to 98 grams per mole. Similarly, molecular weight of cal calcium chloride is Ca is 40, Cl is 2 times of 35.5, total will be 111 grams per mole. These are very simple examples. Molarity is the grams per mole dissolved in solution to make one liter of solution. See the wording carefully. It is dissolved in sufficient quantity of water and then diluted to one liter. It should not be understood that take molecular weight quantity and put one liter of water over it. This understanding is important. Once the molecular weight of the solute is known, the weight of chemical to dissolve in a solution for a molar solution less than 1 molar is calculated by the formula. Less than means lower concentrations such as 0.5 or 0.1 etc. The formula is grams of chemical is equal to molarity of solution in moles per liter multiplied by molecular weight of chemical in grams per mole multiplied by ml of solution divided by 1000 ml that is 1 liter. For example, to make 100 ml of 0.1 molar calcium chloride solution, use the previous formula to find out the how much calcium chloride you need. Grams of calcium chloride is equal to 0.1 molar multiplied by molecular weight 111 multiplied by 100 
that is the 100 ml of solution is being made divided by 1000 that is equal to 1.11 grams now you can make your solution dissolve 1.11 grams of calcium chloride in sufficient water to make 100 ml of solution this is a simple formula to remember you have to decide molarity as 0.5 or 0.1 or any other molarity and volume of final solution required for analysis then calculation is very simple see this example for preparation of 100 ml of 0.1 molar calcium chloride solution let us see another example how to make 2 molar sodium chloride solution sodium chloride is NaCl Molecular weight is Na is 23 plus Cl is 35.5 that equals to 58.5 grams. So 1 mole is 58.5 grams, 2 moles is 2 multiplied by 58.5 that becomes 117. So 117 grams in 1 liter solution is considered as 2 molar. How to make 100 ml of 2 molar? Sodium chloride solution, it is simple. 117 grams are required for 1000 ml. So, for 100 ml, it should be 11.7 grams. Let us understand what is normality. Calculation of equivalent weight is carried out by several methods. These are general steps for calculating the equivalent weight of a molecule. Here the focus is to differentiate the terms molarity and normality. It is the gram equivalent weight dissolved in sufficient solvent to produce 1 liter solution. Normality N can be easily understood by the following equation. M is equal to molarity M multiplied by number of H plus ions or OH minus ions. So H2SO4 has two H plus ions. Its equivalent weight is molecular weight divided by two, that is 98 by two, that is 49 grams. H3PO4, phosphoric acid has three H plus ions. Its equivalent weight is molecular weight divided by three, that is equal to 98 divided by three, that is 32.67 grams. HCl hydrochloric acid has one H plus ion. Its equivalent weight is molecular weight divided by one, that is 36.5 grams. The H plus ion concentration should be calculated separately when the reaction equation is given. Equivalent weight is also calculated with valency electrons, molecular weight divided by valency. Similarly, for sodium hydroxide, the molecular weight is 40. It is also has only one OH ion. So, its equivalent weight is the same as molecular weight. If you want to make 250 ml of one normal sodium hydroxide solution, it can be done as follows. 1N multiplied by 40 grams divided by 1000. And this fraction is multiplied by 250 ml. That gives you 10 grams to obtain 250 ml of solution one important point to make here is that try to prepare the sodium hydroxide solution with caustic soda light of 48 percent instead of sodium hydroxide pellets the solution will be clearer and last longer without any sedimentation or deterioration in factor also it should be stored in hdp container and not in a glass bottle. This is not a primary standard. This has to be standardized using another primary standard like potassium hydrogen palette anyway. When preparing solutions of sulfuric acid, be careful to add always acid to water and never water to acid. This would blast and can lead to serious accidents. This is important. If care is not taken, there will be serious accidents and skin burns. 
while preparing anhydrous solutions make sure that the apparatus is totally dry and free from moisture this would have significant impact on stability of the solution and its usability in testing this is applicable for particularly non aqueous volumetric reagents like acetic acid perchloric acid etc if such care is not taken there is a possibility that the volumetric solution may turn darker it is also important to store such items in low actinic glassware let us understand what is molality molality is defined as number of moles per 1 kg of solvent example what is the molality of a solution of 200 g of sodium chloride in 250 ml of water weight of sodium chloride is 200 g weight of water is 250 g here 250 ml of water is considered as 250 g of water molecular weight of sodium chloride is 23 plus 35.5 that becomes 58.5 g so number of moles of sodium chloride in 200 g will be 200 divided by 58.5 that is equal to 3.419 moles so molality is 3.419 multiplied by 4 because 250 g is 1/4 of 1 kg so it will be equivalent to 13.676 molality let us see how the hplc and gc calculations are done in brief for calculation of content of unknown sample it is done as follows test sample area by test sample weight divided by standard area by standard weight multiplied by test weight by dilution factors again divided by standard weight and dilution factors we come across several calculations in hplc for impurity determination you have to understand that it is calculated as ratio of sample area per unit concentration against ratio of standard area per unit concentration when you have the multiplication mark the ratio will be reversed same concept should be applied to sample and standard dilutions also i hope that the information in this video is useful for understanding your routine calculations thanks for watching for more videos please do subscribe like and share thank you